Hi guys, it's Terry Jones here, Competition Executive for the Societies, and today I'm here to show you how to enter your images for the 20 by 16 competition, which is taking place the 22nd and 23rd of January 2020 at the Novotel London West Hotel. Now before I go through the process with you, I just wanted to let you know about one of the big changes coming to the competition this year. As you know, the judging takes place live in London and anybody can come to watch. Although, as the images are only 20 by 16 in size, sometimes it can be difficult to see what the judges are talking about if you are sat in the audience. But this year we've developed a software that will allow us to digitally project the images as they are being judged, so that you in the audience have a better understanding as you'll be able to see the images large. But in order to do this, we must have a digital file submitted from you, so let's learn how to do that. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to the Society's Convention page, which is www.thesocieties.net forward slash convention. From here, you need to scroll down and go to the 20 by 16 competition homepage. This homepage gives you all the information you need to know about entering the competition, when it will be judged, where to send your prints and how to get your prints returned. Halfway down the page, you will see this option right here that says book your prints in here. This will take you to our new software for uploading your digital files to us. The first thing you will be asked to do is enter in your email address. <clears throat> if you have entered images already, the system will ask you to confirm who you are. If you have not, the system will ask you to re-enter your email address. As I have already been through this process lots and lots of times, uh, it is asking me to confirm who I am, so yes. It will then go through to my postage information. This postage address is where you would like your prints to be returned to you after the competition. If you are an overseas entrant who gets their prints returned to a UK address, you must enter the UK address in here instead of your overseas address. Once you have completed your address, the system will ask you for your membership number. The membership number you give must be correct in order for you to get the discounted price as a member. So if you are unsure of your membership number, please contact me on terry at the societies.net or 01745 to confirm your membership number. If you are not a member with the societies, please leave this blank. You will then be taken to a page that will explain a little bit more about the competition, how to send your images into us, what size the digital files must be, and also the categories. Now, as you will see, the category list for this year has expanded greatly. This is because of the feedback we've received over the, the last few years about some members not being able to find a suitable category for their images. Hopefully this year, we've cracked it. On the next page, you will be able to upload your images. So as you can see here, there is another list for the categories. Now I've already uploaded one image into Creative, so let's get through, let's go through and see that now. So you click on Creative. Here it will show you a brief category description. If you decide that your image just doesn't fit that category, it's fine. You just click no and it'll take you back to the category page. So let's go through. We've decided that we want to enter Creative, yes. And here is the image that I've uploaded. So let's remove that so I can show you the process. So for when you are uploading for the very first time, the page will come up like this. You can upload 20 images at a time. Okay, so all you need to do is browse your computer for an image and it will upload it for you. Now, if you wish to title your image, you must enter the title in here. If you do not wish to title your images, that's absolutely fine. You just need to leave it blank. Everything that is written in the title boxes will be read out on the judging day. So please don't put your file names in here uh, or any further information that you do not want read out to the judges. Once you've uploaded your file, you then click next. This will take you back to the uh, category page where you can then select another category to enter another image into. So you can use this to upload as many entries as you can all at the same time. Okay? So I've got my one entry, that's all I want to enter. So once I've submitted all of my entries, I will now click next.
This will then take me to the return postage pay page. Now, the, the return postage is worked out automatically on the system by using the information which is which is here on this page. But the system automatically works it out for you. Now, if you have entered an overseas address at the beginning of this process, you will then have a different option. Now, you will have the option for your prints to be destroyed, and then you will have an option for us to hold your prints and send you a shipping quote manually. So if you've entered an overseas address, you will not be charged postage at this point. You will be contacted by me after the competition with a shipping quote. But if you've entered a UK address, this is what you'll see. So you have the option to have your prints destroyed, in which case it will take off the cost for return postage, or return by post after the competition. Like I said, this is worked out automatically, so you don't need to input any more information. Next, it will ask you if you would like recorded delivery. This is a flat fee of three pounds, um, and if you tick this, it will be added to your grand total at the end in your basket. So, next, this is payment information. So, payment can be made by PayPal, credit or debit card, or by cheque. If your prints arrive here without any return postage added, they will not be returned returned to you. If you want your prints returned, you must fill in this information. Okay, so as you can see here, the total cost of my entry is £16. Now the reason it's £16 and not any higher is because for the rest of this month, October, we are running a special offer for members and non-members for prints to be £10 which is a huge discount compared to the £20, £30 standard fee. So if you would like the discount, you need to fill in this form before the 1st of November and send your entries to SWPP headquarters by the 22nd of December. So as you can see here, it's charged me £10 for my one entry and it's charged me £6 for my postage. If I go back and decide to add on recorded delivery, then the total will be £19. So, for the sake of this process, I'm going to choose to pay for mine by cheque because if I tick this, the next page it's going to send me to is the PayPal page and it will want me to pay before I go any further. So, I'm going to click cheque and click next. So, what this will now has now done is it's taken me to a, a site where I can download a PDF version of my entry forms. So every single print that gets entered must have an entry form attached to the back. Now the good thing about this system is that it automatically pre-fills those out for you and you can print them at home. Now you obviously don't have to do this, you can still download a blank application form from our website or there is a page at the beginning of this process where you can do that, um, but this process just makes things a little bit easier where it pre-fills your application form out for you. Now, our preferred labs often have systems in place that fill in your application forms for you. Now, I suggest if you're using one of our labs, go and use their process to fill in your application forms. This is just here in case anybody wants to use it. Okay, so I'm gonna choose not to download my application form uh, and I'm gonna click next. Now, it's now gonna take me to a postage label form. Again, you don't need to use this, it's just a little something so that you can print it off when you're ready to send your prints to us, um, then, then you've got that there. So then I'm gonna click next, and it's gonna thank, you for my thank me for my entry. It will send me a confirmation email after it has been processed. So, when your prints arrive here at SWPP HQ, they will be scanned into the system and you will get an email to say that your print has arrived. This is just amazing and completely different to how we've done things before. Often we have members ringing up asking us to confirm that their prints have arrived um, and we have to go through and, and double check everything. Whereas this system does that automatically for you. So you will know as soon as, you, as your prints hit our door, you will have a confirmation email. And that's it. That is the whole system. That is uh, the process from start to finish. Hopefully uh, it is simple and clear. Um, if not, please comment down below or send me an email on terry at thesocieties.net 
or give me a call on 01745 356935 and I'll be happy to go through anything uh, with you. The one good thing about this process that I, I just want to put in right at the end is the images that you upload can be placeholders until you figure out exactly which images you are entering into the competition. So when you go through here and upload, you can essentially put in any images you like at this point. The images will not be downloaded by us until the 5th of January. So at any point, if you want to swap out, update or add images, you can do that. So if you want to get the discount of £10 per print, but you don't yet know which images you want to upload into the competition, don't worry. Just upload the number of images that you want to get the discount and you can replace these or add to these right up until the 5th of January 2020. This is absolutely fantastic. Once again, the system has been designed specifically for us um, so that you could switch out your images if you like. Um, so, so yeah, what I would do if I were you guys over the next two weeks, I would send in these forms, I would, I would upload images, even if those images are just placeholders, um, so that you can get the discount of £10 per print. And that's it guys, that's everything I've got for you today. Um, hopefully, like I said, the system is uh, easy enough to understand. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Uh, contact us via social media, uh, via my email address, terry at, at the societies.net or by telephone 01745 356935 and ask me. Thank you.